Hey folks, I'm Vicente today we're going to play a bit more of Type on Gemini while loads the game by Little Indian Games. And in our last episode we're barely beginning to grasp the, um, the Empire building mechanics. I've been expanding on that a bit and now we've got something which is going to be almost ready I think to begin to maybe conquer new territory. I've got uh, a quarter which is now... Uh, I'm just going to show you that somewhere else. Uh, Let's go into the construction stuff. So I've been building all the basic facilities. So we've got... Um, no, we don't have this one, but it is not really necessary for now. It is for an expanded garage, so I don't have this one yet. We've got the tactical ops, which is going to increase a bit the amount of ship we can have in our fleet. We were asked in our last mission to build five of, of these to uh, go and conquer um, a relay. We're going to do that right away. We've got a few ships which are waiting. I've got also um, what was it? Uh, mining ops, which is at level two now, so we can collect gas. We can uh, we, we are m more efficient on the overall. I've got also the salvage depot, which is upgraded level two. I've got the research development things, which I'm going to show you right away because this is very important. This is an another axe of a progression for your character. It is quite. Uh, useful. I've got the trade center, which I did not actually uh, try yet. It is going to be about contacting embassy of other um, faction. So we'll do that probably in this episode. I'm going to try to um, to get out of the of the boundary of our empire and try to search a new way to interact with the world in this one. So we've got the production plan, which is going to enable us to build a different kind of, of starship. So we've got the MK1, which are going to be uh, available. I think we can already build uh, MK2, though. Oh, friend ship. So we can build um, our own ship, but we cannot uh, do the other one yet. And then we've got the logistics center, which is going to in increase the um, civilian fleet to seven. I had five previously. And I've been also adding a little mod, which is called uh, Better Civilian Fleet, which is quite handy because when we were playing last time, we were bothered all the time by fleets which were coming back and we were uh, quite requested to just launch them again. It was very, very quick. It was pretty much all the time. And with this mod, it's going to make it you, you ask one, it's going, one, it's going to take a lot of time, um, you are going to get a lot more resources though, but you are not going to be bothered all the time, so we are going to be able to focus on other things. And we are good with that. So let's just go back, I'm going to show you a bit of the research thing. So the research, you've got four trees, which are going to give you uh, different uh, different technology you are going to be able to use. The first one is going to be about uh, building ships from, for, from your own uh, faction. So each one is going to give you a new class, you can upgrade them, uh, you are going to begin with a few which are going to be MK1, you will be able to um, Im improve these to MK2 and you are going to be able to open these one as we are going to progress. Then we've got the refit uh, kind of tree, it's going to unlock a new kind of guns, I'm going to say guns, but it's going to be missile, uh, plasma thing, uh, lasers, which are going to be available in your um, in your uh, headquarter. It's going to be only avail available there. If you want uh, other kind of, uh, of guns, you will need to uh, travel the world and find some more. But these are going to be available in your uh, outpost only. There is plenty of these, I'm just going to go quickly through it. And I did not research them too much because these are really expensive. It is The first level is something uh, like uh, 1 million or maybe 1 million Point five, but when you go at the level two, it's going to cost you twenty million for a gun. It's quite quite expensive, as I'm barely able to buy um, a ship of a higher class, a battleship class, which which is going to cost twenty millions. Nonetheless, we've got also the infrastructure here, which are going to give you. Um, these are going to enable you to upgrade the, um, let's say, the, the mining operation or the junk reclaimer, which are on the map. I'm going to show you that in a sec. The Guard post is. I did not use this one yet, but it's going to improve your ability to protect your land, I believe. And then we've got the support thing, which are really, really useful, especially as I'm mainly building a ship which is able to go cloak and board other ships. So this one is going to uh, give you a lot of tools to do so. I've got uh, bo boarding armor, which is really, really good, and you can increase that even further, but you need a lot of resource. You've got boarding trading, which is going to uh, increase your red, uh, your trooper readiness, very, very handy as well. And boarding angel, which is going to improve the amount of, let's say, crewmen you are going to recover when you go to the med bay when boarding another ship. So 
all these things really useful it is really uh, another another tree of progression for your character it is very important to have these okay let's go back and let's see i was speaking about uh, just a second ago so these things are the one you are going to unlock with a uh, junk reclaimer per uh, not perk research I i'm saying perks it is very similar to perks and you're going to be able to upgrade this twice. It's going to yield you quite a bit of material per week, so it is uh, important to do that. Still, it's going to cost you quite a bit as well. And then we've got the, basically the same limitation, not basically, it is just the same um, frontier we've got here. And we need to go to this mission here, and I've got other points of interest which seems to be, uh, let's say, uh, with things we need to inquire. We've got a uh, forward outpost here, which seems to belong to the Revenant, so perhaps. We've got another one here. And I don't really know what we are going to attack first, but we are obviously going to begin with the Relay, as it is the main mission. I've got a bunch of, of these fleets, which I'm going to send. And these are not going to come back too early. I've got also uh, a new tea gate, which is going to be uh, quite useful to navigate through the world, because the world is quite big. Yes, it is. Yeah, really really big and we're going to begin to say hello to our neighbor I've, I got also a little fleet not too big I've got two corvettes four frigates and one cruiser which is uh, probably the most deadly I've got around here and this one I've been boarding and I've been adding to the fleet so I cannot I don't think I can build any cruiser yet I just uh, check it out but shipbuilding I've got all the MK1 and MK2 which are available up to uh, frigates, I think. Yes, to frigates, which is uh, the biggest I can build. I could even build another one. Ah, uh, okay, why not? It's going to be useful in a way. And I've got also a little something thing I've been able to capture just before this video. I was lucky enough to find a battleship, which was not too difficult to capture. And it is in my garage here. I've got an Oppenheimer, which is quite a big ship. And I really want to use it. But I'm going to wait for a sec because I don't know if it is going to be possible for me to equip it completely. I could try, no. I'm just going to transfer and we'll see. I'm going to try to um, put good guns on it, to put a bunch of, of missiles, and we'll see if we've got enough money to do so. I also need to upgrade all the things. Okay, so let's just uh, transfer to this battleship class, which is a really, really big ship. And we're going to take a look. We are still in the dry dock. Yes, we are. So, what do I want to go for? I've got a bunch of guns which are available. What is this one? I don't even know this one. Seems to be a good one because it is almost the same price as uh, the, the Malkar here, which is one of the guns you are going to research with your research facility. So, I would prefer to go with a bunch of uh, rail guns. So, I'm going to go with Severance, which are uh, quite. Oh, these are not really that expensive. I thought they were going to be more expensive than that. So, we might want to go for these. 3.2, it's not that bad still i'm going to begin with enhancement because this is what is going to keep me alive so i need a good boarding model because this is what i'm doing the most so we are going to go blink i'm not going to go for the blink because it is not as good as the watanabe i think for now whoa something has changed here the a patch was available just before i i ran the game to shoot this video and it seems to have changed uh, the ways um, the stats are displayed Yes, it is definitely, and also the um, the font. It's it's much bigger than before, so we are g going to be able to maybe see a lot better. So trooper, maybe some things have changed as well. Trooper readiness, uh, forty percent. Trooper endurance, two hundred percent. And uh, no, we're going to go for the water nabe. It's two millions. We're going to buy it. I'm going to also change the propulsion. It's going to be more important for ships which are as heavy as this one. I'm going to probably go for the maxima which is going to uh, give me a bit of everything basically so we're going to put it on here I've got also a shield uh, which should be interesting as well the aloe, aloe is very good I'm not going to go for the aloe too because I don't have the, um, the money to do so but I will eventually expand to it it is going to be shield strength 40% shield recharge <laughs> 50% and this one is just so much better, but not something I can buy. I'll just go for hard. And we're going to go for the sensors. Avalon, 40% uh, radius, quite good. The grappler, uh, I'm going to go for the unity, it's quite good because it is going to weaken the shield of the grappled object by 35%. 
I think. So it's going to be handy to be grappling enemies. And I've got, uh, last but not the least, my hangar, which is going to enable me to have fighters. It is already the case with the um, Osaka Cruiser, the Osaka-class Osaka Cruiser. But I believe maybe this one is going to enable me to have more, more fighters, maybe? So we're going to go for the Han which is also going to give you a very good uh, all around there is all the stats we are going to be able to get with uh, all the thing so we are going to go for the hand but I could go with a bigger one no it's going to be too expensive for now we'll see I'm just going to go with because I need still to buy a bunch of weapons so I want to keep a bit of money for these so let's just take a look at the look at this sh of this ship oh what have I done undo okay so as you can see, it's pretty cool. I really like it. I like it better than the Osaka Cruiser. Even though it was quite an opportunity to be able to have uh, this Cruiser when I bought him. But frankly, this one is really cool. So we're going to go for it. Uh, let's just go back. Uh, yep. And let's just put a few guns on this ship. So I really want to go for rail guns. So we're going to go for the Severance, which are quite powerful. I'm going to add a bunch, but it's going to cost me quite a bit. Uh, so I'm going to keep, keep a laser at the front. So we're going to go with, uh, what was it? The Malika. Punch. I'll just go back. Oh, it's back here. I don't know why it was not there anymore. So we're going to add the Malika here, which is a pretty good la laser. I'm going to buy all the extra turret I need. I think we are buying more, uh, let's say, uh, spot to put turrets than turrets, than turrets of this class. So even if we change the kind of, of turrets, we are not going to be uh, required to buy extra slots. So it is important to buy them all. If you don't want to just shoot one time and, uh, and not six. Okay, it's going to cost me still a bit. Not too expensive, but still. Uh, what do we have? We've got Elli Ellipso. Okay, this should be fine. We've got five fighters, and okay, we, we'll just go for the gun first. Let's just buy a few severance. I've got two of these here, so let's mount one of these here, and another one on the other side. It's really going to burn a bit of my money here, but it is definitely worth it. I need to at least add... Um... Oh, come on, we're going to lack for the Arbinger. I wanted to try this one. Okay, we're going to begin with something cheaper, maybe. Or I could just wait. I could just wait, but these are just very, very powerful. Yeah, I'm going to wait. I'm going to buy an extra gun at the, at the, at the back here. I think I'm going to probably go for one of the severance if I can. I still, I might lack a bit of money here. 3.2. Seems a bit... You know what, I might want to just do a mission and just get the money for this. Ah, I just not... We are going to just go for the regular mission we are going for. And maybe with the money I'm going to get, I will be able to buy the extra gun I'm lacking. Anyway, we are going to play with the Oppenheimer battleship. It is probably much more than what I should have for this mission, so we should be fine. So, let's go. I don't really have any more perk to use. Now I've got three points, but for, for the um, cloak thing, I need to have five of these. So I can get the next level, which is going to enable me to stay relatively long uh, cloaked. This is very, very handy. Okay, so let's just leave. We're going to ask the fleet to follow us, even though I don't think it's really necessary. Alright, and we're going to go towards the mission. Oh, it is quite slow to move around. Ah, it's not really such a big deal. I I move less and less in combat. It is really just useful to when you're just going to activate these. You want to... I'm going to just get a bit further because I want to be able to see all the shield. Even though these are going to be written around the, um, the map, it is a lot easier to see it like that. Plus I don't want to be too close so I will not be able to see what's happening around. So let's just advance a bit. I believe this ship is going to be a lot sluggish than the other one. So let's just aim for this. We're going to actually just use a T-Drive. It's going to be j just so much faster. And we're going to engage these parts and see what we're going to be able to do with this relay. Okay, I've got my wingmen which are around. And it's quite fast, it's not moving as fast as the Osaka, but it's working fine enough. We are arriving at the relay and we should see a bunch of bad guys around. Are they not coming? Maybe... Maybe not. Okay, we're going to have this relay and we'll see what's going to happen. So let's just go for it. I need to heal the thing. 
Oh, so I thought I was going to be able to uh, act it like that. So we're going to get a bit closer. Wait a second, I'm just going to want to see something. Uh, how is this ship looking? It is quite big. Wait a sec. And can I get a little bit of light here? Oh, it's behind me. It's not going to be... They're going to rotate the thing a bit. So you can see how it's looking like in space. That's pretty. I need to change the color maybe a bit. But for now it's just doing it pretty well. Oh, it's written in the middle of the screen. So just hack it. So satellite hacking. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh, I was speaking about the Osaka cruiser. I've got one on the right here. So telemetry look good. The recruits are showing promise. Indeed they are. Your troubled Renner. What's bothering you? Uh, no, we haven't yet recovered from the Icarus attack, let alone the recent one on Concordia. But we shouldn't restrict ourselves to simply defending our border. We need to expand. I'm pretty. I'm going to agree with that. At least to fortify our old on fire now. What are you getting at? Pirate incursions are nothing new to, for us. The criminals from Tormund Station perpetually raid our installation and convoy. We must deal with them. Do we even have, have, have enough firepower to assault an entire space station? I believe we can do it, yes. Torment isn't well defended. Are you saying we do a frontal assault? Any reason not to? The station is defense. Fleet for one. So that fleet, the, the defense fleet you just mentioned, right, get, uh, might get smaller soon. Explain. The little one is saying you have company. It looks like our Torment friends decide to pay a visit. Okay. I suppose we should respond with full courtesy. Please prepare for combat. Okay, here's a gun. Battle started. What? A, what is that? Okay, so I might uh, assume that we are going to go for. Uh, so what do we have? They have Corvette. And okay, it is really small. We are going to. Is it still alive? No, it's not. I cannot board these. I need to get a bunch of pillage points if I want to be able to get an extra level of of boarding I'm requiring for bigger ships. Okay, so are they not going to come here? No, I don't think so. So we need to conquer the market uh, for what outpost. So where is it? Over there. And we are... Are we going to use the to drive? I think so. Let's just try to speed up a bit things so we can go back home and buy the extra turrets we are going to, to need. Okay, so what's happening here? Are we far? Not too far. I've got my fleet which is behind me. They are using the T-Drive as well. I, I didn't know. So we should be there soon. And I believe... Oh, there's a new battle here. Oh, we've got a new... Uh, yeah, there is plenty of new UI things I did not uh, know about. So there is a bit of an anomaly here. I need to get a bit closer and destroy it. It's going to give us a bit of trouble. What do we have here? We've got... I'm going to go with automated fire. And I'm going to try to find something which is not dead. Come on, everything is dead already. <laughs> I was... Uh, maybe I've been grinding a bit too much. These missions are not going to be so much of a hassle here. So that wasn't hard. Now, was it? You were free to join us, eh? Not at all. Our new ship and their crew have proven their worth. I, I suggest we keep the momentum and target Tommen directly. Yes, we are going to do that. Agreed. Any intel on the target location? Sporadic defense ship and minor static defense. Nothing you can handle. I believe so. Let's see how the Concorde Navy hold up against a real target. Okay, we've been leveling up, which is not going to help them. And do we have a perk? No, no, we don't. Uh, one thing is, I noticed, I don't know if it was a mistake or not, that as um, Artifact Vault are giving also perk points. Or at least I think so. I think last time I received one, but maybe it was just maybe in uh, a coincidence with the level up, I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, I think uh, I might want to just go and check these uh, as soon as I can, because if I can get a bunch of extra perk points, it might be what I'm looking for. Oh, did we expand? I think we did. What can I do here? I can maybe upgrade and get a few operations running here. These are mining operations. I might want to go for these. Let just uh, give us give us a little bit of a boost here. I'm going to go for these three. And what is this thing? There is a prison here. I don't know if these are enemies or not. They are red, so they might be enemy. But I'm not sure. Let's just go and target this place here. And then we'll just use the T drive. Okay, let's go fleet, let's warp. We're entering enemy territory. Okay. Uh, warping him. Well, a little bit too far, but... Okay, the fleet is following. I did not even use my... My uh, fighters. 
I might want to just loan these. Okay, so we've got a bunch of fighters. I'm just going to slow down so you can just see them a bit. They should be rotating around the ship. And where are these? Okay, I think they are just behind us. Yes, here they are. They are just little thing, but they are dealing quite a bit of damage. And they are quite pretty, I like these. Okay, let's just advance a bit more. I got everybody which is around. We should not. I was speaking about the Osaka cruiser. Here it is. This is this one here. It is a bit of a brick, but it is working fine. Okay, so what do we have here? We've got shields, shield generator. Do I really care about these? Because I could just easily get in. Uh, well, let's see. I'm going to begin to shoot quite quickly. And if they were to have a few ships I can board, it would be nice. I think it's probably already too late. Uh, ah, it's dead already. Okay, so how do I want to deal with this? I've got a shield generator here. I might want to just ask them to target it. I'm a little bit too far. I think my guns are going to begin to shoot at uh, a 4 km or 4.2. Okay, so we are going to begin to shoot now. Meanwhile, do I have any kind of ship around that I could board? You know, I'm just going to put the ship like that on the side. We're going to go into turret mode. I'm going to just take a look around. I've been activating the um, legacy turret mode. What is uh, this thing here? Change. I don't really know what the difference is, I will need to just switch back, back at that point, but I did not really notice it so much. And what are we shooting currently? We are shooting that shield, I think. Yes, and we are not shooting well. Okay, it seems to be working nonetheless. If I had some... Some missiles would be much more efficient, but... What if I was to just maybe shoot this one instead? It would be just so much better. There is one thing, I, one one thing I've been noticing recently that it was very, very handy to um, to destroy a big ship like this uh, battleship Oppenheimer. Is that when you are boarding them and you target the, um, their shield generator, you can just do so much more damage. It's just because th these kind of ships have very, very strong shields, and being able to board them to am I shooting? I'm going to check a bit. Yes, I am shooting. So being able to build them and just destroy this shield is just going to give you such an advantage it's just very very handy to destroy them, even if you go out a ship which is just much much smaller. Okay, we've got a shield here which is at 5%. Maybe I should just help a bit, yes. Because automatic turret is something, but sometimes it's just much more efficient to just aim by yourself. Like that. So, how are my fighters doing? Oh, they are just up there, down there. They are taking care of the um, lowest platform here. Just going to try to finish the shield. So my other friend can actually do a little bit more damage to the station. Come on, buddy. It's going to be done soon. Okay, no more shield here. At least I hope so. Oh, the shield is still there. What's wrong with it? Okay, can I bolt the station? No, I cannot, but I can help them. Oh, oh who's that guy? Yeah. Revenant Ambassador. You have the gal to contact me, Kern. Relax, I just need to talk to you. Now speak, or get out of my sight. Let us end our pointless rivalry before more blood is spilled. I could try to go and negotiate peace. Nah, not sure it's a good idea. These uh, let's just take a look. I'd like to discuss the trade now. No, we're going to win this fight anyway. We'll see. I will trade. I will do trade with other guys. But for now, we're going to stick to destroy these guys. Okay, no more shields. So, great work, protector. The station should help us in our defense effort as well as bring in more trade and traffic in general. It was really too late to negotiate anything. It would be prudent to secure the entire Fiana region. The Concord can only profit from it. Yes, it can. Should we expect any neighbor faction to raise an eyebrow to us expanding our influence? Our influence. I do they'll disturb just yet. If or when we venture beyond Fiana, that might change. 
but that might be uh, my next issue. Uh, that might bring me to my next issue. Something I'd like to commission from you directly. Pick up and lay. We need to advance techn technologically if we are to stand any chance in Gemini. The attack on the station, however, Atrocitus might add that might have had somewhat of a blessing in his guise. I've already taken the liberty of designing a structural schematic of a research and development module that would be that would entail in quiz Concordia perfectly, whereas the old storage module where it only need uh, your sign up. I think I've been building that already. They might re just realize that at some point, but and I guess you'd be running the place just like old time here. Huh? It's not secret that I am a scientist and engineer first and foremost, but I lack the necessary environment. So what do you say? Sound, ga sound good, trust. I'll give you. I'll give the order. Where can I? Uh, you already know the drill, sir. Uh, okay. Of course you did. So it's ready. It's done. Uh, so the new R&D. Yes, it is already done. Uh, the model will open up completely new possibilities. I'm glad you decided to invest the resource and manpower in constructing it. It is built already. Renault, get in there. You know what, what to do. I appreciate, I appreciate it a lot, uh, sir. I won't let you down. You'll find the research interface linked into your, I know that, mainframe, I said. Tarangia Technology have been looking into the gate here in Gemini, and uh, I have to give credit to the Supra Travel for them. I think it's a pretty company. They are an impressive piece of technology. Given some resource and time, I could reverse engineer the process and devise a way to repair and even construct gate of our own. It's done already. You might realize that at some point. <laughs> Why is that specifically? We are completely cut out of it. Cut off here. So not by a still group. We need to connect with them as our faction, and uh, if we are, if we are to thrive, with this tech, we'll be able to repair and the malfunctioning gate near Fire Arrows. Okay, just say I'll think about it. It's done, done already. They, they might notice. Captain, I'm oh, okay. Now. We need to talk. Get here as soon as possible. Okay, we'll do that. But I've got a bunch of station to capture. So, let's see. What is that ship here? Oh, it's Tara Hex. So, is she part of the fleet or is she defending the place? Let's go with the uh, Star Lancer. Nope. And we've got another fleet here, which is probably not mine. The Pinnacle a Space Corp. Oh, it is. Do I actually. Uh, is this fleet mine? Oh, yes, it is. So there is just Terra Hex. So I might want to change a bit the way it's going. I'm not going to ask her to leave. I'm going to ask her to uh, join. I'm going to ask her to go here. I'm going to ask the other ship I've got to pretty much do the same go here and I'm going to merge these two fleets together so we'll get a good fleet with Terra X as a commander. She's level 23 so she's quite dangerous. So what can I do with Torment? I'm going to help them. Uh, no there is nothing to be done here. Maybe I can upgrade this station and uh, yield 5% materials from structures. Alright. Oh, this place is not mine yet. I might want to just go and, and arc these relays so I can just... Oh, I've got things to send fleet to. Because uh, I need to arc this relay. I'm going to go straight to out this one. So I can learn a bit more about the place. And I'm going to ask Terra Hex, uh, which is over there, to merge with the other fleet. Alright, so I've got one fleet now. With Terra Hex, which is her commander and I might want to send her back uh, not to farm maybe I might require help I'm going to send her here because she's on only one ship it's a big ship but it's only one ship we never know uh, got something here to capture I've got another one up there yes we've got a bunch of friends here I just stop here there is so many of these just act the thing. Can I act it now? Oh, it was probably a bad idea. Do I want to... I'm not sure. I'm really sturdy. I'm still going to ask the fleet to follow. It's going to be so much faster. My sh my shadow just handling things pretty well, it seems. 
Even if I'm taking a bunch of rockets and, and stuff, I feel like I just need to rotate and it will be fine. And I've got a bunch of ship. I might want to try to... Do we have... Oh, there is a cruiser here. Oh, it is mine. I'm going to board it. I might want to try to get them out of my way a bit. Got a boost in damage. I've got also... You know what? I could just go invisible for a, a little bit of time. It is a big ship, but it is still invisible when I want to. Going to enable me to repair a bit the shields, and it's going to give some time to the fleet to arrive. While I'm trying to hack the ship, this is why I love the um, invisible uh, skill so much. It's give it, giving you time to do things. They might collide. It is quite a big ship. Uh, Med Bay, we're almost there, and we should have more than enough point to actually capture this this spaceship. Oh, I think my buddies are coming in. There is a bit of commotion around. Okay, let's just uh, shoot a bit, so I'm going to appear again. And we've got a new cruiser to our fleet, I think. Um, I could get the money. I think I need the money a bit. I need, I've got a gun to buy, I've got a bunch of turrets to buy. I'm going to take the money, but I would also love to uh, add it to the fleet. I don't really have the much of them, so we are just going to, to get the money. Oh, it was a Canterbury. I've been um, stumbling upon a mission which was uh, also uh, about a ship which was called the Canterbury, which is probably a, a reference to, to, to the Expanse, a uh, pretty cool sci-fi series. By the way, did I manage to, to hack the relay? I did not even pay attention to it, it was running, but I'm not sure it is actually... Oh, we've got another another cruiser, another cruiser. But my guys are not ready. I could try to ask them. Nah, not these. Okay, there are things which are happening, but I'm not helping much. Oh, look at that! It's Tara X, which is using special abilities. Uh, if, if you are fighting, uh, there are missions which are going to send you against, uh, let's say, war target. Uh, target which are going to be extremely dangerous and they are going to be able to use uh, skills as well to to attack you like these, uh, let's say this charge attack okay, so there, there is no more now are we safe? did we lose any ship? uh... Stalantis. it seems to be alright, I think I, maybe I, I have lost a corvette but I'm not even sure and we do have another outpost here so I might want to go for this one if I want to actually capture the the place. It's not too far. I'm just going to use a, jet, a T drive. I've got another guy which is incoming here. Where is he? Should be not too far. What kind of ship is that? It's a gunship. I don't really care. We're going to shoot him if we can. Needs to come a bit closer if we want to be able to actually deal with the guy. Uh, it's going to be. I'm not going to be able to catch him. I don't think it's going to be willing to fight. So they just put the fleet uh, back into the hangar and like... What was that? I think I maybe collide with some of my buddy. Is anybody dead? <laughs> no, it's still good. Okay, so we were about to leave to this station here. Let's see if we can at attack this outpost. It's not too far. We could use a T-drive. <laughs> I'm going to... well, we don't care. I'm going to make a break here, we're going to dispatch this fleet. I don't want to leave them behind. No, not too far. But they are dying like flies. Oh, we've lost one ship, I think. There's probably something bigger. Oh, I've got two cruisers. Are these boardable? Yes, they are. So we're going to go and get them. I'm going to remain in the middle like uh, a sitting deck, so they shoot me instead of my buddies, which are just much more fragile. And meanwhile I'm going to try to collect things and try to to get that ship to... Maybe join us, maybe sell it, we'll see. Just over there, the coronation here. I think we might need another bunch of cruisers for our fleet. Okay, one is dead. 
which is not cool. I like this better when I can capture them. And yes, it's going to happen pretty easily. Oh, uh, no, it's not eating. Okay, so let's just sell this one as well. Going to give us a bit of credits to to modernize our uh, spaceship. Let's just get out of here. Might want to repair a bit. I don't know what's going to wait for us, but these uh, fleets are relatively dangerous. If I were, if I was still with my uh, Osaka Cruiser class uh, starship, I would probably be in danger because I would not be able to handle as much heat. But here it seems to be all right with the battleship. I'm, I'm still quite eager to see the other um, the other kind of battleship, which are pretty cool. There is one from this faction which was not as good as this one so I did not really and the fact that it was costing 20 million was also something I did not buy it and so what do we have wait a sec let's just slow down a bit we've got a style which are incoming there is no uh, no shield here so we just need to uh, deploy the fleet and see what we're going to be able to do so there is gunships there is a corvette uh, not not anything big. So is it all they've got? We can transport a bunch of people in there. Is it sufficient? We need to hold them as well. They're not speaking back. No, they're not. Uh, so how do I capture the thing? Oh, it's done. <laughs> it was it was quick. But these are... oh, what do we have here? So, these guys are not parts. These guys are from the Nexus. And... Um, I'm sorry about the noise. And these are not... Enemies. I thought there was something here. Maybe they capture the thing. So I need to hurry if I want to... Make this region ours. I probably need to aim toward this direction so I can make a little block here which is going to prevent them from accessing the place because this is uh, going to be mine is it still the fire ha the fire fire rose fire hannah region i think wait it's fire hannah region i'm not sure are we being attacked yes we are what is this ship is it any any good ah, it's a better it's going to die quickly uh, we've got the fleet which is quite efficient Okay, so I might want to just add two out this one. I'm going to try to discover a bit of this part. I need to hurry if I don't want, uh, let's say, a lie to capture my place. And I'm going to try to see, can I not upgrade it? No, not yet. We need to get the guard posts. And to do that, we'll need to go into research and see if we've got enough matches to do so. And eh, not here. Guard posts. We need 5,000 matches. Okay. We need to wait a bit more for this. And there is a bit of anomalies here. Uh, different anomalies do different things to, to your ship. I would definitely like to be able to see it, uh, you know, a bit more obviously because it's difficult to know what these anomalies do to your ship. Okay, let's see. So we are a bit far. I uh, might want to use a T drive or two. So we were about to go. We're going to go there. Isn't it a little bit too far? Not that far. I'll just try to go and get a little bit of the road behind us. Okay, so my fleet has followed, I believe. I hope. Yes, it is. It followed. It is still here. Okay, good. And I might want to just got an extra frigate here. I might want to ask her to follow me and join the the combat here. I'm going to send a bunch of fleets over there. I might want to check behind us because there is a bit of enemy here, I believe. But this is not an emergency, also. I could advance a bit. Okay, so let's just go there. I get, I, I need to get information. I need to know what's around us. And these might be giving us what we require. Yes, we are. And there is many enemies. We can choose in every direction here. 
But the white gun, I did not really hear about what you were speaking about. Are we losing the wool fleet? Okay, gunships. Not really sure. Hey, kind of. Okay, let's just slow down a bit. We're going to send the fleet uh, back to our territory, even maybe there. And we're going to try to do what we can with what we've got. I'm going to increase a bit the amount of damage I'm going to deal, and we're going to try to destroy her. But I would prefer to go for a cruiser. Oh, there is a battleship. Okay, I know why it's there. Why my guys are just falling like flies. I might want to just still go for this one. Oh, there is a. This one is a big ship. Is at I'm dull. Do I want to. It is a, a freighter after all. Maybe there is something in there. No, it seems to be empty. Uh, did I ask uh, Tara to fall back? Yes, I did. Okay, so let's see. I was going for the the battleship. A few of these guys are just pursuing the other. Where is this battleship? I don't need the battleship. Where is it? Uh, Freightliner. I need to slow down a bit. These guys are just trying to rotate around us. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage here. Why is that? I just go still see. And we are going to try to get. Uh, there seems to be a waste here. Where is my battle, cr my battleship? <laughs> and, oh, wait a sec! I'm losing my else a little bit too much. Why is that? Let's just go back quickly to some of the place because I'm going to die here. I don't know why. I believe there might be disturbance. Oh yes, there is radiation. Is there still radiation here? I don't know, we're just going to fall back to the headquarter. And yes, there is no more radiation here. Good. I need to discover what I can do about that. I think there might be a perk about this. Where the sec we've got friendly incomings? Kind of. Uh, where are they? Oh, what is that? What is that? Is, are these mines? Awful prison. Okay, we're not going to stick around. Seems to be a pretty bad idea. So we're just going to go that way. Hopefully we'll avoid a bunch of asteroids on the way. But we cannot really say. I'm just going to try to begin to repair the ship a bit better. I'm using medium repair uh, drones, but I might want to uh, switch to heavy soon. Which is going to be quite expensive. Oh, so many of these. It is quite a big field here. So while we are going back home, oh, we could do that. Yeah, let's do that. I was thinking about uh, just improving a bit our infrastructure, but if we can actually jump towards the um, the base, it might be easier, and it's not going to cost us anything. So I almost got killed by radiation. It's a bad, it's a bad thing. We need to find a. A parade. We cannot really. Plus, I didn't know the um, the battleship. I was quite curious to capture it, but it seems I was not the only one who was eager to leave before dying. It might be because of ra the radiation that my fleet died so quickly. So I don't know if the little ship are going to be as equipped to handle the the damage. I've been already losing uh, my life pretty quickly with this battleship. Okay, I take it you're familiarized with yourself with the new procedure that wa the word that water trace set in place. I'd say I did. <laughs> there is no time for an in-depth analysis projector. While you were busy learning, I've had eggs run a raccoon of your next target, the Orphil Foundry in Australia, so it's north, I believe. Uh, Miss Higgs, any questions? So um why aren't we there already? Why another raccoon? To monitor the situation, they didn't take our initial intrusion as a warning sign. It doesn't seem they've upgraded their defense. If anything, they've even reduced their defense capability. 
They dismantled the defense platform but surrounded the foundry with external shielding. So it's basically the same base as the previous one. Uh, let me ask something else. Uh, so what what is our, our end goal here? The Orfield foundry is a massive refinery. If we get our hands on it, we'll boost our materials production. Oh, this is something I need. Because this is the one I am lacking the most. Let me ask something else. Uh, so are we planning a frontal assault? Yes, okay, so it's not going to be... Uh, if we lose our fleet on this attack. I think I've been losing our fleet already, so... We are already defenseless. Should take that risk. Yes, we, we are going to take that risk. This is not viable for a discussion. Protect our black. Well, the council has already made this a decision. It's your job to carry it out. Okay, so we are going to go for it. Oh, and one more thing. Since X is done with her mission in Australia, I've been pointing out uh, yes, she's my new commander. Uh, if that's it all, we should get going. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's do it. I've got a few things to sell. We are going to add uh, maybe a little tower on this uh, battleship. Let's see. So let's go for all the back one. Uh, and I'm going to go... Oh, we've been finding a few things here. I don't know if these are going to be any good, but... Plus my cannon. So this one... I cannot put in there. Uh, so we're going to go for something more familiar. We're going to go for the severance too, for the back cannon here. All right. So these are a little bit more uh, range than the than the lasers. I like the lasers, but I think I, I must change for these, which are just going to be uh, a little bit more powerful, I think. So we were in need also of a bunch of uh, arbingers which are going to cost me a little bit of money, but which are probably going to be worth it. I also want to rearm all of these. And do we need any enhancement here? Now, for now, it should be fine. We'll need to change a few things at some point, but it is not necessary now. Maybe I could buy a bunch more. Uh, nah, it's going to be a waste to buy things which are not going to be as efficient as this. So I think I might want to just keep one to begin with, and we'll just add more as we are going to progress. Oh yes, I'm going to do that. Okay, so let's just go for our mission. I've got... Do I have a perk or something? No, I don't. We've got a few skills to spend, but I'm still waiting for the, the fifth one. And let's just leave and go for our mission. I've got some bad guy incoming, I think. Okay, sir, see if I may suggest... Uh, so where are you if droppings? Okay, let's just uh, say go ahead. You could first take over the Orfield surrounding. That will certainly have an impact on the Orfield crew. It might not be a bad idea. Any basis on for this conclusion? Of course, Higgs debriefing make a note of the, the apparent panic and low morale of the crew. This could be used to our advantage. Counter it. Okay, so we'll see. I've got a bunch of bad guys which are going to attack here, or are they just passing by? Uh, these are fritters. I don't think they're going to stick around. It's too dangerous. So we're going to head uh, toward Australia, I think. And Australia should be north. Yes, over there. So we might... Uh, yes, we can use a T-drive. Good. I just need to align. And meanwhile, I might want to just... Oh, it's quite, quite fast. I might want to be quick about this. I need a bunch of extra ship in case I would be in trouble. I cannot really buy many. Isn't it a waste? Maybe it is a waste, I'm just not going to do it. I've got two ships which I might want to... Hostile region entered. I draw them to... Uh, to merge together. And I might want to check if I'm not in danger. I'm not really in danger. I'm not. The fleet has us. Here we go. We got yes, we do. And these guys are a gunship, Corvette, and more gunship. Um, and I forgot. Oh, I forgot. I'll just uh, capture it as quickly as possible. We need to be a bit closer, though. I did not repair. I'm stupid. Uh, <laughs> oh, they've been protected. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to get these. Anyway, I don't think they're going to do any damage I'm just going to send my guys that are going to deal with them. And meanwhile, I'm going to just try to repair my ship. It's going to cost me a bunch of these, but I've got plenty. And do I want to maybe use a bunch of... <laughs> of missiles? It seems to be a waste. 
Uh, and the time I'm going to decide if I'm using them is they are going to be dead already, so might do better. I'm just going to go with the uh, the chase camera. It's not nah. It's not really working well. I cannot really see much. I think they, they might want to take a look at the um, at the chase camera of Eve Online, which was working very well. Okay, so let's just advance to our uh, base. I believe we might have a ship which is going to be uh, more than enough capable of dealing with the uh, base. So let's just make a quick break and take care of this guy. Do we have anything big? Oh, we got a bunch of crisis. And we're going to try to side one. Okay, let's just uh, see what we can do. But the Magellan. Oh, I think there might be something bigger. Or is it the same? Just show them my flanks, so they can stop killing me. Taking a bit of damage here, I might want to move a bit around. Or I could also go still see. I just go still see a bit. Yes, I know we are in trouble, but not going to last long. We're going to remove one cruiser to begin with, maybe. Uh, it's worth trying. Yeah, good. And to the fleet or to the wallet? <laughs> it's always a, a, a bad question. I think I might want to go for a bunch of extra cruisers. Yes, I need I need, I need a better fleet. But I need a better ship as well. Let's go for the fleet. Oh, they saw me. The Northland. It, no, it's, it is the name of the ship. Uh, but not the name of the class of ship. I cannot use my boarding team yet, but it is uh, quite a good target. I'm still not going to go for it because we've got a smaller ship to destroy first. All batteries fire at will. So let's just see. Let's just begin with the gunships. Good target we don't really have any interest in. And for now I think I might be just cloaked, so it's not going to happen. I just need to get a bit closer. I've got this wait a sec, what is that? A cruiser. Ah, not killing it. I prefer to shoot something smaller. I've got a sneak attack. Of in the area. Okay, there is a bit of an anomaly here. And ah too late. Just kill it anyway. Another cruiser, another cruiser. Okay, let's just uh, aim for the small ship. I could even help a bit. Meanwhile, I'm going to destroy this anomaly. They are dealing a bit of damage here. But nothing too worrying. I just give them a little bit of of missiles. I won't be able to shoot all of these, uh, to board all of these, so I'm just going to try to destroy a bunch. Oh, this one is... No, nah, I'm going to take one. Let's go to this again. It is quite quick to actually um, go through the cooldown. So we can almost always go still see and just heal and and go again against these guys, but we are not dealing as much damage as some of the classes, I believe. And I, I need to follow it, or it will escape. Okay, close enough. I might not be able to add it to the fleet. I don't know if I got enough materials. Okay. A bit more chance, but it not, might fail as... Eh, it's good. It's good. Okay, so... Not to my fleet, then to my wallet. I could have salvaged the thing as well. But maybe there is another one again. I need to wait a bit. Okay, so I can try to shoot the ship, which I'm going to bring the, the cruiser back to the station. I just might want to just shoot the guy. He might notice me a bit. 
activate everything. I need to send the fleet as well. This is the last ship. Can I? I am going to just monitor this. So if the boarding thing appear, appear quickly, I might be able to try to capture it. But if not, we'll just destroy the thing. It is important to pay attention to the shield of the enemy ship here. Because it's always better to just not rotate around it, but just uh, stick to the same side. Or you might be just emptying each shield one after the other. Which I'm not doing right now, but I did not pay attention. If you just focus on the same side, it's going to be much easier to destroy a spaceship. And what do you want to go for? I'm going to go to the satellite first, so I can learn a bit about the area and keep preparing my ship in between. So there is a little bit of work on this one. Okay, so who is it for? I hope not. So you can get a, a good view of what's happening around. Oh, we've got a bunch of bad guys around. Oh, not a bunch. Oh, <laughs> uh, what is that? Don't do that. Um, let's see. Yes. Of course they are. Okay, I think I might want to uh, take a little bit of time to breathe, so I'm going to go still see. We're going to take a look at what we can actually uh, remove. We've got a bunch of cruisers. I'm going to board one. Hopefully there is nothing bigger. I will act later on. I'm going to remove this one if I can. One less cruiser is always good for the DPS of the enemy fleet. Okay, let's see the scan. Just a little bit more. Minus how much? Minus 12. It should be fine. I'm not sure we're going to be... It's not perfect. Far from it. We're going to go something with 60%. 7. Oh, not bad. Okay. And pacified. Good. And we get still, we don't really have the matches. I could maybe get a bunch, but I feel like it would be much more efficient to get the money. So let's get the money. And can I get another one? <laughs> no, I need to wait a bit. But I might want to get ready. Oh, alarm triggered. Probably a bad idea. I'll just get a bit closer where I can try to use my stitches skill to kill one of these before I... Ah, too late. Too late. I just focus on the on the gun, Jeff. And I need to not forget to activate my... My fire at will command because I'm taking a bit of damage if I don't kill them quick enough. Okay, I've got... A bunch of seconds to wait, and we'll be able to go still see again. Just need to show them my back, so I'm not going to take damage from the front. Don't really need to go that fast either. So I'm just going to line behind me. Okay, so we're going to go still see again. Repair the ship a bit. See if we can get another cruiser down. Sending my men in. Uh, so we've got a bunch on the right. This this ship is quite slow to turn. Cruiser. Oh yes, good. I'm going to try to follow this one a bit because I don't know at which uh, range we are going to not be able to command our boarding crew anymore. So I want to stick close enough so we don't um, break the link. Okay, hopefully there is a med bay, so we're going to recover a bit of my troopers. Oh, battle started. Why, why is that starting? Are we close to the base? I need to check something soon. Okay, so yes, we got a good chance to get this one. Pacified, good. And back to the wallet. Okay, so what's going on? So the battle is just over there. Uh, Alright, so we just need to go and get 
these guys out of the way, so we've got a bunch of ship around. I'm going to use my special attack here to destroy him, eventually. It did not work, I do not know what I did which was wrong, but I did anyway. I've got another cruiser here. Too early. Just shoot these guys here, we've got a bunch of corvettes. These are worthless, so we don't really need to worry too much about these. I'm going to use a bunch of skills to get them killed. And I will need to rest a bit, collect everything, and go to the sea soon so we can... Uh, maybe, if we are lucky, we're going to send a bunch of rockets here so they get a bit quieter. A bunch of these as well. Going to help for my boarding team. And I might want to go to this again soon. Just slow down a bit, I'm going to go behind it. I'm going to send a bunch of missiles, we are going to go still see. Alright, we are going to slow down as well because we are going to eat the thing. And do we have troopers ready? Yes we do. Perfect. We've been capturing quite a bit of these cruisers, which is really, really good for us. And let's keep going. My trooper should be a little bit less efficient, but hopefully they will manage to do it. Even if they don't, it's not such a big deal. I will try to sabotage the thing. What? Oh, come on. Is he fleeing? I did not pay attention to the distance it's going to be. Uh, we are not going to be able to send our guys again. It's a waste. And I cannot initiate it again, so... Sorry, Cruiser, but you die. Would have been a nice addition to... Anything, our fleet or wallet, but... We won't be able to do it, so... I just not do it. I just kill it. Can I get a little bit closer so I can use my skills? Oh, that, okay, so we are not attacking the right thing. Where is that guy going to collide? Yep. Should be alright. I'm going to destroy this thing quite quickly. Still not ready, yeah. Nah. I could use the grapple as well. Not using gra the grapple user usually because it is uh, preventing you from going still see. One perk point. Oh, good. I don't know yet what I'm going to use it, use it for, but... And we add a little bit of walk over there. I think I had something to do about the guns. Because I, I could invest in, in Battleship, it is probably a class I'm going to use for a bit of time. But uh, I believe maybe investing in weapons might be efficient for all kind of vessels, so it might be better. Well, I've been mostly investing in things which were not related to, related to combat, expect for, ex except for boarding, but I think I might want to begin to do so, so I can make this ship just shoot a bit better. So we've got the Baron here, which is flying a Taurus. It seems to be uh, quite unlikely. Lawmaster Viridian. Don't capture us? Good. So the place is mine, but we've got still a mission to do here. And let's see, I've got civilian task here. I'm going, going to go back to my civilian task here. I've got plenty of these now. I'm not going to be able to do these all because I've got only six fleet. And that well, might be. Here we go. And we're still fighting something here. What are we fighting? Oh, it's dead. Okay, it's dead. So let's go to the mission. I'm going to finish this mission now and I think we won't go much further because I'm running out of time. It was a, a video which was full of fighting today. Oh, what's happening here? Are you lost? I'm not moving anything here. He's just uh, unsure of where to go. Let's do it again, please. Somewhere else, maybe? Okay, we're just going to go back to regular... Uh, Okay, so we were about to go that way. Maybe it was an anomaly or something, I don't know. But this is where we need to go. Let's just go manually. We're going to fly toward this location and hopefully it will work fine. 
I didn't repair my ship. It's there is a huge amount of hit points in this ship, and it's just taking a while to repair. That's why it would have been more, let's say, more smart to. It would have been smarter to just uh, repair it in the station. They have taken us uh, to a safe distance to avoid triggering the mines. Uh, if any of the mines detonate, we'll have a hard time getting to Orfield or anywhere for that matter. Is there any way to disable the mine from a distance? Like a master switch? If I would guess, I suspect they have some control over it on Orfield. Getting to it right, will be tricky. Let's just transport a board. The foundry is protected by biometric shielding, so we'll have to get a lot closer. We didn't come this far for nothing. The mine have triggered distance. Trigger distance. We just have to plot our course very carefully and get to the front. It's not going to be easy with a bezel ship. Everyone stay put. I'm going in. Wait a sec. Stop. Not. We are not going in. Uh, let's see. I need to see these mines. Maybe I can choose these from before. I could go around. But there might be other options than just flying through it. Maybe there is a hole into the the minefield. Can I shoot some of these? Maybe there is a way for me to actually not get killed here. Because it's very unlikely that I'm going to cross this. I just put my fighter back. So I don't know if it is uh, triggered by proximity or or triggered by impact. I'm going to assume that this is going to be triggered by prox by proximity. So I'm going to try to be as far as possible. I've got a mounted camera here. First person view. Ah, we're going to go for the mounted camera. We're going to try to advance. I don't really see the size of my ship that way. It's a really bad idea. Can I shoot them from far? I'm not really sure. I just try to go through it without shooting. Probably, probably a bad idea, but just accelerate a bit. If you must fail, I just fail quickly. Okay. So not proximity, maybe impact. It is fairly easy if it is not going to detonate when I get too close. So we might be able to get close enough to do what they were asking for. Well, let's see. What if I get into these little spot here and try to... I am very close. I am at zero. Might be close enough. I just slow down a lot. I cannot dock here. Alright, let's just go back to regular view so, so I can see uh, how in trouble I, I am. Oh no, it's, it's, all, it's all fine. Let's just... I cannot transport anybody, so I need to probably ail the thing. She's not perfect. They're ignoring us. Yes, they are. I cannot board. Not fit. Fight the... Uh, mark target. I can scan the thing, maybe. Okay, maybe I need to be closer. Let's try to get a little bit closer. Probably a mistake not to go back into first person view, but I'm going to try it nonetheless. Oh, close enough. So we're in. The main field should be deactivated. Give me a quick status of the foundry. I don't want any more surprise. Running diagnostic now. Non-functional, sir. Some components are missing. The oath must have taken the parts. Get me trace and the on the com and apprise him of the situation. The damage isn't permanent. We can restart it, but you'll have to replace the missing parts. I didn't hear you say that you'll manufacture the nuts and bolts. That's because I can't. This is old check, early to mid colonial era. We uh, what we need is restoration more than pure engineering. Can you think of anyone who might help? Maybe there was someone very interested in old imperial technology who I met on rural station. We should try there. Got it. I'll see if I can find him. Find her actually. A certain Miss Ark. I'm sending over the coordinates of the station. Alright, let's just stop. We're not going to collide with this station. Let's just get a slightly bit. Wait a sec. 
Am I close or am I fine? I'm fine, okay. I just get a little bit further so I don't really get stuck with uh, bits of the ship. No, oh, not the ship, the station. Alright, so it is a, a nice minefield. I don't really know where I'm going to ex exit. Probably the same way I'm going to... Uh, I've been going in. So guys, we're going to complete the video here. I like it. If you do, please leave a like, a comment or subscribe. And I'll see you next time, guys. Have fun!